to humanoid robots, two completely different visions for the future. One costs a staggering $150,000, the Xpeng Iron, the other, a shockingly affordable $30,000, the Tesla Optimus. But today, we go deeper than price, which robot learns faster, which robot adapts better, which robot will actually replace human labor, and most importantly, which one will dominate the future of everyday life? Let's find out. Stay until the end to see which robot wins every category. The final results will shock you. Every revolutionary machine starts with a mission, the x bon Iron. Built to be a high-precision industrial companion, strong, stable, and engineered for tasks humans can't perform safely. The Tesla Optimus, designed to be the everyday helper, simple, modular, and affordable enough to become mainstream. Two robots, two opposite philosophies. Future of humanity. Two robots, two futures. Let's compare their builds. The Espanol weighs more, moves with heavier torque, and maintains perfect balance, even under load. The Optimus focuses on efficiency, lightweight design, and energy-saving joints. Iron is a tank. Optimus is a runner. Comment which style you'd prefer standing next to you in real life. Xpeng Iron uses multi-layer depth cameras and thermal mapping for dangerous environments. Optimus relies on Tesla Vision, a neural net trained system that learns from billions of miles of real-world driving data. Iron sees precisely. Optimus sees intelligently. Watch closely. Xpeng Iron's hands mimic industrial robotics stable, strong, with smooth mechanical gripping. Optimus focuses on finger-level accuracy for real household objects. Iron lifts. Optimus manipulates. This is where the gap gets interesting. Xpeng Iron learns task sequences like a factory robot. Repeatable, reliable, ultra-stable. Optimus learns like a digital human, observing, predicting, improving, sometimes surprising its own engineers. Raw power Xpeng Iron dominates. It can support industrial loads, brace its body, and maintain center of gravity under pressure. Optimus is strong, but not built for heavy-duty environments. Optimus is faster on clean surfaces. Xpeng Iron moves slower, but with unstoppable stability. One is agility, one is precision. Optimus favors long operational cycles for home usage. Iron consumes more energy but pushes maximum performance. The winner depends on the world you want to live in. Xpeng Iron can work in hazardous environments, heat, debris, unstable floors. Optimus isn't built for danger, at least not yet. Making coffee, cleaning, sorting items, Optimus performs natural human tasks with confidence. Iron can do them, but that's not its priority. Optimus uses human-like navigation rooted in self-driving experience. Iron uses industrial-grade mapping optimized for reliability. Optimus is built to interact, voice commands, gestures, full social context. Iron is built to execute simple, direct, efficient. Optimus adapts to humans. Iron adapts to environments. Xpen Iron's stability under impact is stunning. Optimus is improving fast, but Iron holds the crown today. Optimus, extremely adaptive autonomy. Iron, extremely reliable autonomy. Factories favor Iron. Households and service industries favor. Optimus, no contest. Iron's payload is in another league. Optimus benefits from mass production design. Iron requires specialized service, but offers higher grade parts. And here's the shocker. Xpeng Iron costs $150,000. Tesla Optimus costs $30,000. Iron is a premium machine. Optimus is a global product. Optimus could enter millions of homes. Iron could reshape thousands of industries. Tesla will rapidly update Optimus through over-the-air learning. Xpeng Iron will upgrade physically, mechanically, and structurally. Watch closely. This is the evolution of robotics happening right before your eyes. So which robot wins? Xpeng Iron wins in power, precision, and industrial strength. Tesla Optimus wins in affordability, adaptability, and real-world usability. The truth? They aren't rivals. They're building two halves of the same future. But what does that future actually look like? What happens when machines like these spread across the world? Not to replace us, but to reshape the way we live. To understand where everything is headed, we need to look beyond features, beyond price, and beyond competition. Because the future of robotics isn't about who wins a battle. It's about how humanity evolves alongside the machines it creates. 
Let's go deeper. Right now, Xpeng Iron and Tesla Optimus are early versions of what will eventually become everyday companions. Think about how early smartphones look. Chunky, slow, limited. Now they run our entire lives. Robots are following the same trajectory, only faster. Xpeng Iron, with its industrial DNA, represents the rise of mechanical capability, strength, endurance, precision. It's the future backbone of factories, logistics networks, and hazardous work environments. Anywhere humans shouldn't be, iron will be. Optimus, on the other hand, represents something completely different, a robot designed not for factories, but for homes, stores, hospitals, and public spaces. A machine built to interact directly with humans without intimidation, a machine meant to blend in. Imagine a world where iron handles the dangerous, the exhausting, and the impossible, while Optimus handles the daily, the repetitive, and the essential. Two systems working together, two forces shaping the world in their own way. This isn't science fiction anymore. We're already watching companies test humanoids in supermarkets, warehouses, and care centers. We're watching AI models teach robots to understand human language, human behavior, even human emotion. And we're watching these machines evolve at a pace that no previous technology has matched. But here's the surprising part. The real revolution won't be physical, it will be cognitive. As robots learn from each other, data networks will develop, where experience shared by one machine instantly becomes knowledge for millions. A robot in China solves a problem, a robot in Brazil instantly knows the solution. No training, no delay, just a global network of improving intelligence. Xpeng Iron will benefit from this at the industrial level. Optimus will benefit from this at the human level. Two learning systems, feeding into one larger evolution. Now imagine year 10. Optimus can handle every basic household task. Iron can complete every industrial operation faster than humans. Together, they free billions of hours of human labor. What will people do with that time? Will we become more creative, more innovative, or more dependent? Every major technology in history created a new shift in human behavior. Electricity transformed nights into productive hours. The internet transformed information into a limitless ocean. Robotics will transform physical labor into something almost optional, but that shift comes with questions. Who controls these robots? Who sets their limits? Who decides what tasks they can perform? Xpeng Iron and Tesla Optimus may look like simple machines today, but in reality, they are the foundation of a new era where humans and machines live side by side. And here's the part most people don't realize. Humanoids aren't being built just to work. They're being built to learn, adapt, and integrate. Humans aren't the final users, we're the training wheels. As these robots evolve, they'll become more than machines. Not conscious, not alive, but capable of assisting in ways we can't fully imagine. A companion for the elderly, a partner for rehabilitation, a teammate in emergency response, an assistant in education, a worker in environments too remote, too dangerous, or too extreme for human survival. The future is not one robot versus another. The future is one massive ecosystem of intelligent machines cooperating across every layer of society. And when you look closely, you realize something incredible. Xpeng Iron and Tesla Optimus reflect two sides of humanity. Iron reflects our desire for strength, control, and mastery over the physical world. Optimus reflects our desire for connection, assistance, and support in our daily lives. Together, they show who we are and who we want to become. But let's go even further. Picture the next phase of evolution. Robots working alongside each other, iron lifting and stabilizing heavy materials, Optimus sorting, assembling, and coordinating. Two robots communicating silently, completing tasks faster than any human team. And then imagine the phase after that. Millions of robots connected through shared neural networks. Millions of machines distributing real-time information. Millions of units upgrading their skills simultaneously. This is not fantasy. This is the direction global robotics companies are openly pursuing. Xpeng is building high-torque humanoids for specialized industries. Tesla is building mass-production humanoids for civilization-level deployment. Two different roads, leading to a single destination. A world where labor becomes increasingly automated, 
A world where humans focus on higher level creativity, planning, innovation, and meaning. A world where productivity skyrockets far beyond what we consider possible today. However, with every leap forward comes responsibility. We must guide these machines. We must ensure safety. We must decide what roles they should and should not fill. Because even though they are tools, tools shape societies. One day, children will grow up with humanoids the way we grew up with smartphones. One day, hospitals, schools, and offices will depend on these machines to operate. One day, the idea of doing strenuous labor manually will feel as outdated as using a rotary phone. This is the beginning of a cultural shift, and what we do now. How we introduce these machines, how we regulate them, how we interact with them, will define the next century of human life. Xpeng Iron and Tesla Optimus are not just products, they are symbols, milestones, early steps into a future where humanity expands its capabilities using intelligent machines. So when you ask which robot wins, the truth is simple, humanity wins. Because each robot pushes the other to improve, each design forces innovation, competition accelerates progress, and progress drives the future forward. Imagine your life 10 years from now, a robot helping with tasks while you learn new skills. A robot maintaining infrastructure while humans design the next generation of solutions. A robot working tirelessly so families can spend more time together. A robot assisting scientists, explorers, engineers, and creators. These machines won't replace human purpose. They'll redefine it. That's the real story, not the specs, not the price, not the competition. The story is the world we're building. A world where humans and machines rise together. And this is only the beginning. Want more breakthroughs in robotics? Hit subscribe and stay ahead of the future. Thanks for watching. Big things are coming.